Good morning, fellow you know who is. Good morning, Elaine. Hello. Oh, hello. That's Good morning. It's very, it's very formal this morning. Good morning, Elaine. Good morning. Uh, this is our first full morning in the Lake District. This is our accommodation, and it's called Squirrel's Retreat. And wherever you look here, you can see a squirrel, a real squirrel, or a pretend squirrel. Thank you, little. Uh, your very little coat's off. So it's about eight o'clock on a Saturday morning. And we're off to find some fells. <laughs> right. We've parked in this free car park. You are here. But we're not going there. We're heading for our first fell of the day. Grisdale Pike. Always appreciate having free parking for the day. So far. <laughs> or how steep it just oh, it's going to be steep. Grisdale Pike. Let's head on up. So as we head on up, we can see Skidor with a bit of cloud. I've got to do Dodd, Latrig, and just yonder, Lonskara. And over there is Basin Thwaite Lake, the only lake in the Lake District with lake actually in its name. Great for pub quizzes if you need to know that. Basin Thwaite Lake. Now mm. we've levelled out a touch. I'm going to explain exactly what we're doing today. We've started in Braithwaite, literally just outside of there. And today we are doing the Coaldale Horseshoe, a nine mile walk consisting of these five Wainwrights, starting with Grisdale Pike, which is the highest peak of these five Wainwrights that we're doing. We wanted to start relatively early as well. So we could find ourselves a parking space, which we did. And to begin with, it is all uphill. Up until this bit. We can catch my breath back and enjoy some of the nice views as we ascend. So through the gate, and then we just follow the path up through the ferns. Just come round the corner and we can see Grisdale Pike in the distance. That looks challenging. We can do it step at a time, step at a time. up this first stage. That's the route we're going to be taking back on the other side of the horseshoe. It'll be the afternoon by the time we get to there though. Stop for a quick snack break. Which 
one of the views beyond. That was a very steep climb. Now it flattens for a very, very short while before it starts going up again. This is the final push for Grisdale Pike. Keep thinking of uh, normal wisdom. Mr. Grisdale! It's Mr. Grisdale! Mr. Grisdale! That's an awful impersonation. Yeah, enjoy this flat moment for a short while. It does start going up again somewhat steeply. As it gets steeper, I tend to do so many steps and stop. So many steps and stop. <laughs> if it's steep, it's 50 steps and stop. If it's not so steep, it's 100 steps and stop. almost touching the mountains. It is in parts. And this final bit, we've only got about a tenth of a mile to go and it's steep all the way. Okay, nearly the top. Just shows you from here where we fight from. Well if you see this on your travels, you know you're near enough at the top. I think we have made it. Number 80. Wayne Wright number 80. Grisdale Pike has been conquered. Now we're heading on down and then we're heading back on up to Eel Crag. So to head over there we've got to take that path to the right. We don't know if we've got to kind of circumnavigate that hill slightly there to the right or whether we go over it a few moments. This is a stunning landscape today. Unbelievable pathway. So once we get to Eel Crag, that will lead us along to the other small handful of Wayne Wrights and then back down to the bottom. So we are climbing up here because it's a Burkitt and if there's Burkitt available we're going to do them. Lays at her little Burkitt. I'll just look at the views. Wow. Nice views from here and that's where we've got to go. Crag Hill or Eel Crag, depends on what you prefer. Over there. It's a nice little route. Enjoy the little waterfalls. We've had lunch. Now we're on the move again. Just looking out for the turning. Should be appearing soon. Actually the thinking is we've got to go to the end of the path and then turn left. Enjoying the gradual ascent on this one. So we're at the crossroads and you could go that way for Wayne Wright 
to the right for a Wainwright. But our route today is taking us to the left for a Wainwright. As we're heading on up, we've just noticed the view of the ocean and beyond that the land. And we're thinking, we're pretty certain what we think beyond the ocean there is the lower west part of Scotland. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. I did think at first it may have been the Isle of Man, but I think the Isle of Man is somewhere beyond these hills. Great views though. Nearly at the top of Eel Crag. So close. Following all these carns to take us to the top. And we've got about a tenth of a mile left. She's done it. Got a trick point. Always nice to have a trick point at the top of a Wainwright. Going on down here, straight up to sail. views regardless. Here comes the lane, near enough. Gotta find a pile of stones or something, haven't I? Ah! 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 I give you the very top of sail. Another way right fell. Come on, let's touch it, you know you want to. Yeah! Good 360 degree views up here as well. Amazing. We're now heading for Outer Side, which is the 141st highest up Wainwright in the Lake District. In effect, it's not the one that you can see directly ahead. Scar Crags is the one directly ahead. We're doing that another day. We'll go slightly to the left and we're doing those two fells directly in front. This path's go, that's pretty awesome. We we'll follow the zigzag path down, but then we go to the left. the bottom of this path now and then we turn left and we go down there it's a nice path that leads to outer side lanes at the bottom of here waiting for me It's out of side. We've just got to figure the best way to get to the top. Do we go straight to the middle or do we go for the more gentler route to the left hand side? We'll probably take the left route if we can find the path to it. Barrow, which is 
our last Wainwright of the day. Hooray! We've just climbed up Star End and the Burkitt with the aim of <laughs> looking out at Barrow. Oh, oh. don't mind me, you Karen, eating your grass. with a stunning view of our last our last fab of the day well goodbye Barrow we're now heading on down into Braithwaite had a sit down for a while and our legs are now seizing up a bit so we need to get on the move again get our muscles warmed up we're almost back into the village of Braithwaite and then we've got to go slightly uphill to find the car. Lane's just popped into the local village shop in Braithwaite. We're in desperate need of a ice lol. That's nice. Welcome to our village shop. There's been a shop here for almost 200 years. Lane got me a Solero. <gasps> Made it back to the car. That ice cream helped the last little bit, didn't it? It's it all. Just over ten miles. <laughs> Fine way. Five Wainwrights. Handful of Burkitt. We'll show you the map when we get back. We'll show you the walk we've done. Uh, but we'll say as always, if you enjoyed watching our video and come with us today, please remember to like, subscribe and comment. <laughs> and see us on the next walk unless we just stay in bed all day tomorrow. <laughs> be a good vlog, won't it? <laughs> see you later. Nice early start today. We parked down in Braithwaite and we hiked up to Grisdale. Pike, then we cut across to Eel Crag, then we cut across to Sale, then we came down to Outer Side. Looks like we've missed one out, but that's to be on another walk. And then we came down to Barrow. So we did five in a circular down here. Now this one is to be done on another day. 101 that one is isn't it scar crags so that will be done yeah